Three, two, one. That explosion came from a bomb made back during the Civil War. Maryland State Fire Marshals were contacted by people who had been informed a Civil War era cannonball they kept in their family might be live. They discovered it somewhere around the Appomattox battlefield in that general area. They've maintained custody of it in their family over generations. Uh, so this Civil War buff uh, saw it and said, hey, you know what, let me let me take a look. It looks like it has a fuse on it. And uh, indeed it did. Deputy Chief Fire Marshal Dwayne Savides says this family had a live explosive in their home for generations and didn't even know it. The whole family had to had it uh, just passed, passed down, so it's just kind of sitting in their garage. It's a, it's a nice little fairly family heirloom for sure, but uh, if you're not aware of the things that you're dealing with, you really don't know how much danger you really put yourself in. You might think finding an unexploded cannonball from the 1860s would be rare. It is a pretty routine thing for the state of Maryland because the Civil War was uh, so prevalent in our area. There are a lot of munitions around. But the fire marshals didn't actually want to explode the cannonball. It was during their testing process to determine what was inside when the explosive went off. So if we could have determined it was empty, we would graciously give it back to the family and say, you know, here you go. But we wanted to make sure it was completely safe before we did that. Despite losing a family heirloom, turning the cannonball in was the best course of action. In this instance, the, uh, the family called the right people and uh, it flowed, it flowed nicely to make sure that everybody's safe. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.